out here in the shop and I just had a comment come in asking about the micro switches on my dust collection system. So I'm in the middle of uh, building something, but man said he was getting ready to start his system next week. And I just think that this dust collection is a great thing. And the way I have it set up, I actually use it. So many things like dust collection, which is a safety feature, people don't use because it's a pain in the butt. And if it's a pain in the butt, I wouldn't use it. So this is a crappy video, but it's real quick to kind of show you the wiring and how to set this up. It's a really simple process. Uh, if you think the video sucks, put it down in the comments, let me know. Uh, and I won't do this kind of stuff anymore because like I said, I don't have time to sit down and make a good video. Maybe in the future I will. But uh, if this is good and it helps somebody out, please let me know. And so when I get comments like that, in the future I'll know to stop and just take 30, 40 minutes and throw up a video because if it helps one person, it's probably gonna help 10. Um, and if not, then I don't wanna do them. So uh, be sure to leave that in the comment. So here we go. Okay, so this real quick is gonna be a uh, quick tour but then also you can kind of see how it's set up. So I've got my dust collector back here in this 55 gallon drum. On mine, I actually had uh, put in a spacer and then because this here is kind of heavy, I put these little um, things in. So that's a four inch adapter. I had to take a heat gun, heat it up to get it to go over. Um, that's why on uh, the uh, one I video the other day, we just put two pieces of wood here and uh, made that down a little bit uh, closer but looking over the back so I've got this big four inch uh, T because I got two sections of my shop so this one here is going into um, this is supposed to be hooked up there I'm still working on that I got to make a new connector but this is my drill press I've got a floor sweep uh, floor sweeps absolutely fabulous um, you can't not put in a floor sweep once you put it in you'll have one everywhere and then uh, this one here I've got going to whatever I hook up back here right now I've got my planer hooked up to it and believe it that planer this thing will suck all of those wood chips I get almost very minimum wood chips coming out when I ran my pipe I'm running a four inch sewer pipe uh, so the fittings are cheap the pipe is cheap I had uh, got an extra blast gate here. I was going to put a tool over here. I don't have one right now, but uh, I've got it there. And actually, sometimes when I'm in here making a lot of dust or cleaning up, I'll open that up and that kind of uh, helps draw some of the stuff out of the air. So I've got another floor sweep on this side of my shop. Again, those floor sweeps are great. Here is um, the way I got it is that one runs down to the floor and then it comes back up underneath the floor right here and goes into my table saw and that way I don't have to have a hose that I'm tripping on and lastly I have my miter saw so how does this really work well you see that little thing right back there that is the little micro switch so all I have to do is so once the gate open or you know opens up you heard the system back there kick on so any all I have to do is open my blast gate and the system automatically comes on okay so I've got this solid state relay I try to put a link uh, Amazon link on there and then what I did was I have this cord here that's just going up to the uh, it's a power strip now be careful don't get like a surge protector and some of these things uh the wiring inside is small uh you see this one how thick this wire is you know we're looking at almost like 12 gauge wire and so what i done was i cut the hot uh wire and it's going in here and then coming and then uh on the other side is running straight on through to the connector so we've got our neutral up here that's solid you know we got the ground and then here's the hot wire coming from the outlet here and then going out to the strip so what that means is that once I have power energized here this will close the connection between these two and now I'll have power in my strip up here and the reason I did a strip is I've got the um, dust collector here uh, plugged in 
but then I also have a light in the back because this thing let me turn it on back here with the light you can see how much dirt's in there it's hard to tell how much dust is in there but with the LED light in the back and I just have the LED as that white plug and the motor is the black plug so all I have to do is now get electricity and see this particular relay is 3 volts to 32 volts DC and that's all I need is anywhere from 3 to 32 volts DC and that switch will operate okay so now all of these little boxes they have two wires when you cut them so one is the ground and one is the positive so it says right up on here you know negative is on number four and then positives on three so I use my voltmeter I connected my negative up there and then my positive I connect to this little piece of speaker wire okay so I got one of these little boxes I've cut my wires off the end um, you know so I've got raw wires now this is DC so DC power I use it in the aquarium in the water and it doesn't really um, shock you so if it does, I don't know, uh, to me, so we'll just say this is for demonstration purposes. Don't try this at home. Um, don't sue me if it doesn't work for you, but I've done this for years and this is the way I do it. So um, I'm just showing you how I do it. So I don't know which one of these are positive and negative. So I connect my positive and negative here. And then you can see on our voltmeter, we're coming up 11.95 if we had connected it. So I got it right the first time, you got a 50-50 shot. If I connect it like this, you see it comes up negative. That means that I've got these backwards. So we're going to put our negative back on here. Alright, so we've got our, this is our common end. So what we do is, this is our positive. So now we're going to connect our positive right here. And like I said, we're just going to kind of twist them up here for now, just because it's showing you. So the C, common, is connected here, but both of the wires are connected together, so it's daisy chain. So each of the wires are making connection with each other back to the C and back to the C. So we got our positive DC voltage on the C connector on all three of these. And it, can, it doesn't matter how many, you can daisy chain 50 of these is all going to work the same because this wire has got our 12 volts going through this wire and then each of the C's are touching that same wire. So that way nothing's going to sort out because they're all on the same wire. So then because with this particular gate that I'm demonstrating, because that's what I have back there, um, this is a, whenever the switch is in its rest of state that's this normal position. So, in the normal position, which is when th these are open, we want electricity to be flowing through it. So, if the switch is closed, that means that there's it's closed and they're making connection, the electricity is flowing through it. So, right now we want this to be in that position to have our electricity flowing through it. But our normal position is going to be whenever all the gates are shut, we want the circuits to be open. So we're going to go right here to the normally closed circuit, which means that if it's open, it's, it, it lets the power go by, and whenever the switch is activated, it stops or breaks the power. And then we're going to connect that normally closed pin, just like we did on the other, and so now we've got this wire here. Well, I connect that on to just like I had connected on right here. But see, we have no voltage coming through because all the gates are closed. But if I open up one of the gates, you can see now I have my 12 volts, 11.7 volts. Um, you know, these are cheap little things. But those solid state switches don't take a lot of amperage. It just needs enough voltage to operate the little electromagnet uh, in the little circuit as a solid state. So um, 
and it doesn't matter which one of these are open, if I open any of them, the, uh, I've got my power. Or if I come through and open them all, I'm going to have power. And so if any one is open, the system's going to be on. If only when all of them are closed will the system shut off. So hopefully that's about as clear as mud. So the reason why I'm not using those gates is because they don't have the pass through. I wanted a gate that went all the way through and one, that way you don't get sawdust in the little channel and then the gates don't all uh, close all the way. And then two, so now my dust collector only comes on if this is all the way open. See, it has to come all the way down before it hits the switch. So my switches on my system have to close so that means that I want them in a normal open position so they would be on the center pin. This one here as a demonstration because I don't have a part that comes down whenever the gate is open to trigger them I would have to actually wire them opposite so that whenever they would be in the normally closed position and then everything would be closed that it would break the connection uh, hopefully that makes sense to you uh, and then we would just go ahead and just like we did before we'll come over here in these connections to the center that is enough that you can kind of figure out what's going on and can get your system up and going Hey, if you get a system up, shoot a video, throw it up on YouTube, let other people, uh, you know, share in your experience. You don't have to be a professional. Um, my first videos look like crap, and it actually helped a few people. So sometimes, you know, it doesn't even have to be a great video, or it could be something that you messed up. But the whole thing about this, the whole reason why I started on YouTube is I like to give somebody, uh, you know, show them where I screwed up and how to do it better. And uh, I've helped a couple people, so definitely... If this helps you out, let me know. You know, give me a thumbs up, give me a like down there. Um, if this is a content that you think will benefit other people, let me know, and then I will actually take some time and sit down and shoot a decent video 